Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So here it is, our November 2022 tier list. Last week was a vacation, had actually forgot about it, but here, here it is now, and here I am, and let's move on to our tier list. Okay guys, so I will be posting a link in the description of this tier list. Every month will have a different link, so please make sure that you check out the video. Um, because of the format, it has to be a different file. So I'm sorry for those who want to view um, the October tier list. You'll have to check it out in the previous video. So let's start off with our helpers. So far, there has been no change in the helpers. So it's going to, still going to be Erixia, Zephyr, and Sakura on top. Zuliang, Mako, and the tier A, tier S for Erixia, Zephyr, and Sakura. I forgot to mention that. Tier B, Ryuka. Again, my frustration with her is it's hard to get copies of her. Aoi and Zhao Yu is tier B. And on tier C, Ume Mizuno. If you want to use her, if you're starting out the game, she is viable. But again, she'll be only be at tier C. Moving on to our specialist. So for specialist, uh, let's start off with the bottom. So we have Kazue, Evita, and Irina. All tier Ds. Uh, Irina not going anywhere after <laughs> Everything else. Tier C is going to be Lafayette, Osuke, Sani, Akechi, Mitsuhide. Again, no change there. Um, so far, uh, Akechi, I'm tempted to put him up. But again, he has limited use for Ignite. Osuke as well and Sani as well have very, very limited use. Tier B, you have Vivian. Vivian, if, if built well, she's, she's actually good. And also Irene's Embers, if she's built well as well, she's also good. But we have Tier A, Harriet, and Xanta Kane. Both of these girls are usually used in most comps. Harriet in boss comps and also Xanta Kane in boss comps. While our S tier, Empress and, and Chow Chow are the top tier um, specialists in, um, in figure fantasy. Uh, Empress, um, I mentioned earlier that she's a good team up with uh, our new girl in Senma, which is Tia. And Chow Chow. Um, Chow Chow's all around. Uh, hope you can build him, guys. He's one of my you know go-to go -to figures if I can clear some of the stages. So, again, Chow Chow, very good in mobs. Not only in mobs, but also in bosses. So, again, these are your specialists, and this is the tier for your specialist. Moving on to militarist. Next is tier D. So, Chris, Minakami, Ryoma, Karen, Hiroshi, and Ophelia all are in tier D, sadly, for our militarist. Then you have Re, Norris, and Camille for tier C. Re, uh, if you're if you're starting out, she's actually quite good, but she she drops off when you have tier B and tier A figures. So Norris and Camille are very niche as well. Um, Camille could have a place probably if he's built well, but at this point, I'm reserving judgment for Camille. Uh, tier B, Lubu, I Aquino, and Vazerwin. They are the mid tier in terms of your militarist. They're a good starter. They're good up to the mid game, but especially Vazerwin, she falls off. Uh, especially if, if you have Zarola, Lubo will fall off as well. Ayakino can be a good um, debuffer substitute for Sakura, um, but her 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 use is very limited. So. Uh, tier A, it's Crusell and Zarola. Zarola, what can I say? She's dropped really, really far from Tier S. She was Tier S before when we started the game. Now she's Tier A. Crusell is steadily at, uh, steadily being, uh, steadily at Tier A. So Tier S, definitely Hatsune Miku belongs here. I've had um, discussions with um Quite a lot of people. Um, I put Hatsune Miku in tier A before, but upon convincing me that she should be in tier S, I put her back in tier S together with Milim and Mikoto Misaka. Hatsune Miku, right now, 
she has a very niche use, but again, still powerful with her mirror image and that she can't be killed somehow. So tier S it is. She's going to belong in tier S. For vanguards, we have somebody new. We'll discuss it later. We'll take a look at tier D first. Dolores, Midori, Mizuzaki, Yuna, Yamazaki are here. Um, both Yamazaki and Yuna will... I'm not sure if they could still go up to tier B. But for tier... Uh, sorry, yeah, tier B, we have uh, S8 appearing here for the first time. She drops this uh, this week. So S8, her kit is very niche as well with charm. Um, for me to put her up up at tier, tier A would require a lot of testing. But again, if she's built... You know, if I can't build her, then I can test her. Okay, so so far I only have one copy of her. Probably gonna do a build guide for her, but again, requires more testing. For now, she's in tier B with Suzumi, Alfred, Mizu, uh, Yuina, Mizuki, Yoko, and Zhao Yun in our tier A. So they are your, you know, second to the highest tier for your vanguards. You have Rin. An Ultraman, um, pretty much very good damage dealers in their own right. But for tier S, are, these are the god tier. So Dead Master definitely there. Kuroko Shirai and Rimuru all collab units. So take note, guys. If you haven't, uh, you know, pulled in one of the collabs, please make sure that you save up for the collabs because they are going to be the key to playing figure fantasy and the last one is going to be your defenders tier d is going to be rico yuki guanyanera and sapphire of course um there are a lot better defenders in this class we have vasili here at tier c asteroth and sanada they are kind of your middle of the pack they can be used but definitely you have better options um a tier a crusos i'm sorry you're gonna go down um, especially if you're you're using Tenma, Cruz is going to be your secondary defender. Izumi um, could be argued at hmm, could be argued to be tier S, but at this point I'm putting her at tier A. I haven't really uh, maximized my Izumi yet. Probably in the future I'll have to do more tests, but definitely she's one of my favorites at defender. Very versatile. In terms of damage dealing, in terms of um, of uh, sustainability, in terms of staying power, uh, she's good. Okay, moving on to the last tier, which is your S tier. Again, there are a lot of people who have been asking me, is Tia better than Megan? Um, in some areas, yes, but both of them are definitely in your S tier. Tia brings a different dimension, again, to, to gameplay. In terms of synergy, in terms of uh, team comp, um, building team composition around Tia. Um, Tia definitely will outshine Megan in some of the stages, but Megan will still have her, you know, her spotlight in some of the stages. So uh, Tia has a different use, Megan has a different use, but both of them will definitely stay in S tier together with Ayane Okada and Yun Cha. So that is it. That is the tier list, guys, for November. Um, small changes here and there. Definitely the two that came in are a big impact to the tier list for November. Um, for next month, I'll just be waiting for, I think, probably new figures to come in this month. So this is it, guys. Your tier list for November. Again, I'll be putting a link on the description so that you will have a quick reference on the tier list. So... Thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.